Hey everybody, this is uh, the first long distance test that I, I want to perform with this uh, new King Song. And uh, as you can see, I'm riding. That's not easy to see, but I'm riding a KS. 14C, uh, 800 watt uh, Kingsong and uh, right now it's fully charged and I want to take it for a ride where I ride uh, maybe 25 kilometers and uh, today it's 1st of November it's a pretty cold November day it's uh, around 10C so it will be exciting to see if uh, if the battery will last uh, the whole trip so uh, I'm using this uh, my Garmin watch to uh, to sort of to keep track of uh, how far I'm going so um, so this will uh, also be a nice way to see if everything stacks up so To concentrate because I'm running a, as you can hear I set the limiter around 25 kilometers per hour so I have to concentrate on not hitting any potholes because this could be dangerous but right now it's it's nice smooth So after the first five kilometers, we are down uh, two, two indicators on the battery. So it's funny to see if we make it the whole way home. Still have my best guess around 20 kilometers to go. So, so let's see. <laughs> Ride mode, that is uh, pretty scary. It's like you have to balance all the time. It's it's a whack, it's a sort of tipping back and forward. It's like a, there's a rubber band holding everything together. So it's a, it's kind of a little bit scary. Need to really to keep an eye out of everything. You don't feel it's it's not anywhere as firm as a, as play mode, and even play mode is is very soft, but for some reason you get used to it after time and it actually feels quite comfortable and uh, what, what what really strikes you when you have been riding King Song for a while at least the 800 watt which is the only one uh, I have to compare with uh, from from my pre previous experience is that it's it feels so stable even though it's only a 14 inch it's like very very stable but you have to ride it in play mode to get the best control uh, combined with the best feeling of, uh, of uh, stability because this ride mode is really really odd so yeah yeah that was pretty scary I reached the, the tilt back limit for the first time and that in the, with the settings that I'm using right now is uh, 28 kilometers an hour. Whoa, there it was again. Fuck. So I have to slow down a little bit. It's, it's pretty pretty dangerous. It's it's amazing how easy you, you get used to this uh, cruising speed of 25. Right now it does not feel like I'm moving at all. Maybe it's the cars that ride right next to me that make it everything uh, seem like I'm going slow. But also uh, the, the road, the road is pretty uh, decent, it's difficult for me to show you here, but uh, I think oh, I need to slow down a little bit because this tends to feel a little bit dangerous, even uh, if you hit a pothole at that speed, it could be very, very nasty. So, but I'm wearing all my protection gear, I have, even have a helmet on. I have elbow protection, I have knee protection, I have uh, uh, wrist protection. 
which is uh, very crucial if I if it for some reason should throw me off so now we passed the 12 kilometer mark and uh, you are still only two lines low on uh, two, uh, two of the battery indicators down so it seems that we are doing pretty okay uh, in terms of uh, power so uh, so far I think it would be no problem to complete the whole trip on, uh, on a single charge so uh, but uh, let's see 16 kilometers and uh, I just want to up here and just stop for a second and check the battery let's check the battery let's see it is okay so it goes in uh, two at a time so it's just jumped down to so there's 60 percent left so or something between 40 and 60 percent left and i have completed most of my journey so I still have a go of, I think, approximately 12 kilometers. So uh, I hope I don't have to walk the last uh, bit of the way. So far, uh, it has been, uh, I think, around 16 kilometers to this place. So, okay. So let's see. Now we hit the 22 kilometer mark. And uh, my legs are getting uh, pretty uh, sore. It's uh, and I'm getting pretty cold. <laughs> but um, there's still battery left for me to go. So uh, last I looked, there was still uh, the four bars left. So uh, I hope that I will make it the whole way home. But uh, as you can hear. Uh, I'm beeping all the time, so uh, so that means that I'm cruising uh, at around uh, 25 kilometers an hour back in my town. So it means that the longest part of the ride has been completed. So. Okay. It seems there's oh pothole. Whoa. Yeah. It seems there's absolutely no uh, problems uh, getting home with the. the with the remaining charge, it's uh, I just need to watch where I'm driving because I'm now a little bit. There's lots of. It's a bridge where all these gaps between the bridges they're pretty deep, so we still have two lines, 40% left on the battery, so uh, it should be absolutely no problem uh, driving the last bit of of this stretch, so. Okay, we made it back. So let's see how far the trip was. That was uh, 28.25 kilometers. And uh, you can see there's still plenty of juice left on the battery. So it's an amazing battery pack uh, you get with this Kingston. Even uh, at cold weather, it, uh, it stacks up pretty well. So I guess you could easily ride maybe 10 kilometers more on the remaining charge. This completes my uh, distance test of the Kingsong KS14C 800 watt uh, with the 680 watt hour battery.